A $1.3 billion project to help address storm surge on the peninsula has gotten a key authorization from the federal government to move into the next phase. Ray Urena talked with city officials about their next steps and what you can expect. The city of Charleston are in negotiations with the Army Corps of Engineers how to design a project to protect the peninsula from storm surge. The federal government would cover 65% of the cost with the city covering whatever's left over. Right now they're focusing on a phase running from the Citadel to the Coast Guard Station. Our project is one of 26 that was authorized in the Water Resources Development Act Bill of 2022. Congress only does those bills every um, two or three years, so we're good to go. This was a big hurdle for us. This model run the morning before Hurricane EMA landfall shows a storm surge of over 10 and a half feet would have been possible if it hit the peninsula. To put that map into perspective, if I was standing here on Calhoun Street, just a block away from Mother Emanuel, my feet would have been wet from the storm surge during Hurricane Ian. We want to use the low battery as a design condition because that's a multifunctional, understandable, respected piece of infrastructure in Charleston. I spoke with Army Corps project manager Wes Wilson over the phone. He tells me the project is a high priority for them and the federal government understood the benefits to cost ratio for the plan is one of the highest in the country. Moore says a potential agreement could make its way to council in at least four to six months. It's up to us. City Council has full control. The mayor and the city council have full control over what we do next in the, in the various phases. Reporting in Charleston, Ray Urena, Live 5 News.